How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Phoenix Wright. We're gonna get into the trial for day three of Turnabout Sisters. My trial, because Red White is a scumbag who's accused me, and now I'm on trial for killing Mia. I'm pretty sure I didn't do it. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah! Phoenix, look! What? Oh, hello. Ugh. Why are your eyes so squinty? You're very upsetting. Prosecutor Edgeworth. I received a call from the public prosecutor's office yesterday. He told me that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. Your face is scary. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. You gotta be a better person than that, dude. What does White have the judge in his pocket, too? So you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Well, that's not you getting your verdict. That's them getting the verdict for you. Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. Yeah, not like the justice system's there for that or anything. Let's just throw everybody under the bus. Everybody's guilty all the time. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. You fucking. I do it. Piece of shit. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you're retarded. You've changed. Huh? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Phoenix? Well, court will be opening for session soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet, he's not! I'll be defending myself. What? <laughs> Mouth, jeez. What? Okay, let's do this. Oh, jeez. Well, this is gonna be terribly stacked against me. How the hell am I gonna get out of it? This is intense. My life is on the line. Maya's there to help, I guess. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. As the details of the events are clearly quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of another witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? Because it's a sham. It's like it's like it's he already knows why. Hmm, if anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. I mean, does it matter, man? I guess I'll do it, but I don't think it's going to amount to anything. Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Ma Miss Maya Fay? Hmm. <laughs> I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Redgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. Yeah. About what I expected. I would like to call Mr. Red White at the start. I would like to punch Mr. Red White in the teeth. Please state your full name. Red, green, white. What is his middle name? I, I want to know. You wish to know the title of my personage? Jesus. That's not a name. Uh, your name. Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? Name. He's gonna get so pissed off at him that he's gonna fucking help me, I hope. These two are great together. <laughs> my name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino literally kill yourself. I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim is Mia Fey? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there. <clears throat> Why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'll rip his throat out. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Ho ho ho! Okay, Santa. 
I hope you've made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. What? Let him have it, Phoenix. Okay. What do you got to say, buddy? Let's see, it was about 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quietly perusifying, uh, that's reading to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Then how the fuck do you have a, another person who testified saying it was a little girl? You people are shit. You're full of shit. Damn it. And Maya got there fucking before me, and, and uh, whatever. Don't they have cameras to show when I got there? Whatever. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss Maya. Maya, it's Miss May. Stick it to Maya. Miss May, over at once. She too was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she she ran away, but you gave chase. So you saw it, then you called her over, but she was saying she saw it the whole time, and she saw a girl. This is nonsense. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testified, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. I'm afraid you need to suck a dick. Very well, defendant. Uh, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination? Yes, Your Honor. Literally everything you said was bullshit, and you should die. That's my cross-examination. Yeah, that's fine. See, there's that. We got that whole thing. I want to stop him where he says he saw that it was me. Bull. Spiky-haired? Well, that's irrelevant. What the hell? That's all he... Okay, that one. What you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? <laughs> what is it? Counting both eyes, 40. 40? Don't add them together. Christ. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Nobody cares. Whose side is the judge on anyway? Can he get fired, please, after this? I don't, I don't want him around anymore. And what did you do then? Jesus. Hold on, let me look at uh, all my stuff that I have available to me. Just to go over it real quick. You got that stuff, that's all good. May testimony. Floor plans. She ran to the right, but was caught and struck. Let's remember that she said those specific things. Dodged, ran to the right, caught and struck. I do want to press him on that, too. Basically, all the things that he says that are bullshit. What was Miss May doing at that time? Fucking the bellboy? She just finished watching a soap opera. That's his voice. She just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Did you know she had been tapping the Faye office phone? Whoa. Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I cannot. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of this Faye woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. A regular Donald Trump. Oh, <laughs> after all, I am El Presidente. Please continue. Fucking shit. Uh-huh. I sort of want to press that, too, but I don't think it's really going to get anywhere. There was a terrible impaction. Did Edgeworth prep this guy, too, I wonder? Anyway, I'd better find a week. So, yeah, I might as well, then. I think, yeah, okay, B. The B button can speed things up. Good to know. I think somebody told me that. Thank you. Uh, let's, uh... Nope, stop. That, that one. Press this one. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprende, I understand. The victim was attacked. Oh, I'm on the opposite side. <gasps> he said left. He said left and she said right. You can't have left and right and up and down and hot and cold all at the same time. Opposites. Idiot. If I... Duh. You gave chase and struck her down. Man, you think they would have corroborated that a little better. Are you sure? Can I objection up in this bitch? As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. 
So the victim ran to the left. Bull ass bull. Take this. I'm gonna present this up in your face. Wait right there. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. This is the end of your meth operation. What is this? I need to st How many times can I reference Breaking Bad? And it's not funny. It's not a funny thing to say. You said the victim ran to the left, but that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Uh, uh -huh. It is simple, you have misheard her. Oh my god. The oh, the people in this game are so readily punchable. Oh my god. This game can get you fucking mad. I'm telling you, this is some bullshit. But also really excited when you when you win. When I beat this guy, oh, I hope I get to punch him. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here, and the victim here. If the victim ran to the left as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. How does that make any sense? Into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Oh my god, oh, gross, man. Very strange. I did see her run to the left, I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this. Girl, don't pretend like you know what you're talking about. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run left. Well, it doesn't matter. He's an ass. So he did witness the killing. Well... Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Miss May says a right and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction? Why you want me to explain it? They should do it. Now... I was just assuming that he was wrong. Maybe she saw it in like a mirror? Because he was saying that he was right. And then he's like, hey, wait a minute. What if... Well, I mean, if both are right, that really doesn't help me. <laughs> if they're contradicting each other, that's really beneficial to me. But I kind of feel like this is the right answer. Why are you smiling? That's not good. That's not a good... That's the worst time for them to be telling the truth. <laughs> Huh, I doubt it. Uh, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Oh. Okay, then, actually. Oh. A phoenix, you're smarter than me. I like it. What do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. He was viewing it from the perspective of killing her, and then didn't adjust his story accordingly, maybe. If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fay & Co, of course. Wow, I didn't think he was that stupid. To give his witness account from the perspective of the murderer. <laughs> More specifically, he was standing here. Right where that K is, oddly enough. I'm gonna think that he was... Let's get that centered. Uh, okay, that's good enough. Present. Pre present. Pre present. I pressed it like 18 times. This is where he was. Look. When the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point, to him, it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. Yeah, I really don't think this is like solid evidence at all, but uh... You should buy it anyway, because you're all biased against me anyway, so fuck you. That is where the killer was standing. My point exactly, Mr. Edgeworth. Order? I will have order. Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? I think I've made it clear. Rapscallion! Ah. The postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Ho ho ho! You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing. The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well, let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. You can't fix bullshit. Miss May's testimony of the temple. 
Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. Ugh! Man, this fucking game. They piss you off so much, because every time you think you got them, then they just come back with something that's so stupid, and then it's like, damn it! You can't win, it's... Ah. I like it. I like this game. Then you hit her savagely. That is just what I saw. Next, with the last of us rang, she ran to the right. Is there evidence of multiple wounds? Multiple attacks? You chased her and delivered the final blow. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Hmm, that does seem to make sense. God damn this judge. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? You're damn straight. You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. Alright. What do I want to call him on this time? I'm, I, I just gotta... I like pressing him on everything, because, like, everything they always say is ridiculous. What do you mean, first? Well, first, I think that he means before anything else. That is what comes before what happens next. Yeah, honestly, dude, you, you walked right into that one. That is exactly what I would have said to you in that situation, <laughs> honestly. So, uh, yeah. I actually have to side with Mr. White on that one, unfortunately. <laughs> then you hit her. Again, I want to make sure... When are the glass shards going to matter? It's got to be a relevant at some point. Floor plans, not really anything important right now, I wouldn't think. Hold on. There's that, that. Yeah, we'll just keep pressing then. I want to hold him on everything. Hold it. I didn't hit anyone. <laughs> That's your defense. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, crap. Uh, oh. The prosecution requests the defense reign from interrupt refrain from interrupting the testimony. Well, I'm cross-examining. I guess that was a shitty thing to say, but... And then she ran to the right. Well, I'm not gonna stop interrupting him. What do you mean... God damn it, you keep... I'm pressing him, but I don't want you to ask these stupid questions, man. 